just easing through all these old mining areas, seeing what we see. Easing our way to strategic points, maybe. Just slip through here. It is a pretty day. So let me tell you where we're at. Everything we done looked at is that way. And we're just easing around through here, looking for strategic points that we've seen on Google Earth. And we found a couple structures that we're going to check out. There's one little concrete one right there in front of us. And then off that way, we've noticed some other stuff. So we're going to slip around there and see. Looks like this was asphalt at one time. So this must have been a pretty heavy, heavily used area. So let's go see. Something odd that I hadn't even paid attention to, but one of my co-hikers did. Most of the structures we found, we had found a damn fire extinguisher sitting out next to them. Not sure what that was about. Looking, this looks kind of like a fueling spot, like you see at state offices. I'm not sure if that's what it is, but that's what it makes me think of. Maybe where some fuel tanks were stored. Looks like it's full of water. And it might not have been fuel tanks. You look for snakes here. I might have stowed stuff in it. These different weeds growing in it. A fire extinguisher in it. it Looks like old toolbox. Other than that, a bunch of water. It's got a drainage hole in the back. I would be willing to bet this is probably where some fuel was mounted. Fuel tanks. Well, I don't know that. Here's another one of them old fire extinguishers. 1994. You see it right there? We had noticed something back here. Not sure what all that is. We're gonna slip over there. I believe what we found here is a small scrap yard. It's like, it was like a temporary roof of some sort. Looks like pieces of conveyor belt. Looks like a lot of pieces of conveyor belt. I'm guessing this is just where they throwed all their old conveyor and junk. Looks like all kind of things mixed in. Some steel sticking out of that hill. Some cables over there. I was hoping maybe we'd see an old bucket. Drag line bucket or something. Let's slip up on these hills and see what we see. So we made it up the hill, and this is our view. There's your view from the hill top. So as we stand on this hill top, and we look around and we walk before we get down to the water. What I want you to pay attention to is the size of some of these trees. Now what that tells you is that this part of this mine that we're on has been here a minute. Especially, I mean, you look at the size of these trees. Now, as I walk here and you pay attention, just look at the backdrop that you're seeing. I mean, it's all over. Look at that plateau out there. That's all mine, all mine. As I told you now, the mine is derelict and they don't use it. But the same company's right down the road. Let's get on down that trail. I can see water over there. Let's see if we can get a little closer look. We slip down right here in this little ravine. Looks like this hill's a mix of old asphalt. It's probably some of the early 1900 roads that they ground up and hauled in here and disposed of. Just look at that terrain. My co-partner, he done seen this. Oh yeah, look at that. There's one of these rock mines, lime quarries, that's over in uh, Williston, Florida, Cedar Lakes and Gardens, where they took one of these and turned it into a botanical garden. Tracy, I wish you was with me today. This is sure pretty. 
mutual pretty. And let's slip on. There's lots more here to see. But before we do, just think about what I said. You see that's dug out. Look at the size of them trees. I would bet you this part right here was probably from the early 20s when the mining first started in here. Not sure of that though. Let's slip on down there. They noticed some kind of metal drum or can. Might just be a normal 55 gallon drum. Let's see if we can get down and get a little closer look. On second thought, this is some pretty fine gravel and it's pretty slippery. And that does appear just to be a normal 55 gallon drum. So we're not going to risk going down there. In these quarries we're seeing in these refuse piles, all these little round look like core samples. Anybody knows anything about that? I say we are in a lime rock and aggregate quarry in a refuse pile. Chime in on that in the comments. Look like we found us another dump pile. Lord, look at the size of that tire. Maybe we won't get on a snake. I'm going to turn the camera off so I can get us a little closer. No, I'll leave it on. There's all kinds of stuff. Big old, look at that big old propeller. See it? Big old fan blade. Yep. Behind that tire. And over there. Look at the size of that tire. That's taller than I am. Got a metal cable and all of it. This is old dump pile, I reckon. That's pretty neat. Where I showed you the first big tire a while ago in the old fan blade. Was right there. There's more junk piles here. There's another massive tire. So we just, just slipping down through here. I believe we we're in the oldest part of the mine, I believe. This is what we seen earlier we thought was wood. Fenced in there, it ain't wood, it's just some kind of steel. Let's slip over and see what it is. This looks like where maybe some, some type of item was stored like steel or pipe. And there was a slab right next to it. So apparently at some point, there must have been a building here. At some point. Pretty decent size little building too. Make sure there ain't no lag bolt sticking up we're gonna step on. That's the least. with no pipes and nothing stuck through the floor. There's some kind of hole. Mm -mm. Like right, some yellow paint at some point. <laughs> and there's another fire extinguisher. Let's see if we can find a date on it. That looks older than that. It might not be. So it shows it was last inspected in September of 2006. I don't see a date itself on the fire extinguisher itself. Let's move forward. So before we move on, one of our fellow hikers that's hiking right here around the outskirt of this pad found some old debris. Let's just go over and check it out and see what's there. So we got two potential points we're gonna check out right here next to this pad. One's here and one's here. Let's ease in there. So we got a little hill here. And on this one, it appears it's just some old buried junk, rubble, steel, not sure what that is. Looks like just some concrete barriers, maybe. See he's through here, there's several little piles. They might be something else. That's a cool piece of wood. That's some type of concrete pillars or beams. Not really sure. Let's ease around and see if we see anything else laying out here. So where we're at right now is a little ramp that's in the center. 
This hill you see right here behind me, on the other side is where I walked up that platform. We're gonna hike into it from the back side. This runs up in the middle. Give you just a little view of what we're looking at here. And out there is a big old pit. Probably won't go out there. What is that right here? Is that a bucket? Or is that rocks? Right there. And this is asphalted, so this must have been a pretty hot little spot. I believe this is the area that probably fed this machine that we was looking at on the other side that we walked by earlier. Walking on the ramp here, we find yet another fire extinguisher. Look like that hasn't been there in a while. So we're topping the hill. And we can see that machine. I'm guessing, and it's just a guess, this must be where the truck's backed up and docked. Like the, like the hopper that fed that machine. Look at them pieces of plate. And this is what fed in to feed that conveyor system. Like initials welded in it. LDS, maybe. So this is the other side. That is one big hopper. And you can see the trees growing in it, so you can tell in the ferns. It's been years since it's been new. Let's see he's around to this other side and see what we can see. If nothing else, maybe we'll get a good vantage point. I bet you around this, all the dump truck divers made up and bullshitted a lot. I guess that's where the worker attendant would have set. You see the joystick there inside the house. Let's see if I can zoom me up a little bit. That's probably the controls for the crane arm. That's massive. You can imagine how well this had been lit up at night. You can see the different lights mounted. And there's another light that's broke off. So all that would have been lit up. All right. We've seen what it says. Let's ease on. We're going to slip around the edge and give you a few views here of what we've seen from the edges of it. Watch as we pan around. It don't get much better than that. Walk over to the edge right here. Just look at the terrain. Expanse after expanse. We're gonna slip around that way now and see what we see. So, we're headed back down the hill to go left. We're gonna slip down in that little, I guess you'd say a valley, a man-made valley. So we're just easing around the big pit here. This is a peninsula that runs out in the middle of it. So we're coming up to the edge of this pit. I don't know if you can see it across there. I'll try to zoom it in, but there's a big hill over there. Got something over here, a little debris pile. It's like an old wire spool that's fell apart. Let's ease over there and see. 
I believe that's what it was, some kind of wire spool. This just fell apart on itself. Cable, maybe. Maybe a cable spool. Anyhow, it's easy on over here. We're going to ease over here to this peninsula and see if it's easily to get into. It may not be. It does look like there's a road going in there, so I think we're going to slip in there. As we walk down, it looks like we got more debris. I see some more tires, oh, big tires. Let's walk over and look at one a little closer. Looks like a couple of them might even have a piece of rim in it. There's one right there. Let me give you a size comparison. How big these tires are? Monstrous tires. And just imagine the piece of equipment that was sitting on them. Walk over here and see if we can see one of these rims. Oh yeah, that one's got a rim in If anybody knows what them fits, let me know. Down in the comments. I see he's on down the trail. Another debris pile of some sort. So the road end ends here. But it looks like it's a pretty decent trail here. Maybe it was part of the road at one time. We're going to slip down it and see how far we can go without a lot of trouble. That big old rock. This would be some good hiking right here. Maybe some kind of compressor or something. I don't know. I think that's a compressor. Give them a packet. Plastic rubber or some sort. Huh. I don't know what that is. So we come up to a spot here where there's another tire dump. Here's a little opening, you can see the water. Now that looks to me like that had been used on a pretty regular basis. That was probably an employee that had him a nice little fishing hole. Would be my guess. Let's see what we see here when we're walking around. You can tell that wasn't just a one time use pit. I'd been used a lot. Old chair sitting there. Don't look like it's been set in in a long time. That whole hillside right there, the debris rock is nothing but fern. Look how pretty those look. Today we're not going to make it to the end of the peninsula. It is very picturesque in here. You can hear the wildlife. Surrounded by water. Give you another nice view of that water. See how green that water is and clear. You can see the minnow. And we see something in the grass there, so we're gonna slip right there and see what that is. Not really sure that that's mining related. Let's see what we got over this hill. down in between these two pits. Well, in afterthought, we did see a lot of stuff. Not many vintage vehicles, though. I was expecting that. I don't know, though. That's where the research is kind of coming in, just all suspect and theory. The mine has changed hands several times in that 101 years and, and been several depressions since then. Maybe some of it was scrapped. I do know that one set of owners went through a large court case and battle and prosecution and money seizures. They may have scrapped a bunch of it then. Being since 1921, I sure expected to see a lot. I believe that first part that you've seen in the video, I believe that was probably part of the very first mine. I don't know that, but the size of the trees that were around it and growing up into the piles leads me to believe that. Anyhow, we had a good time, seen a lot of cool equipment, not as much as we wanted to see. Got to see a really cool Florida quarry. The buildings were really awesome. I, you couldn't have asked for no better. Even though they'd been vandalized, that was traumatic. You've seen where they had vandalized a bunch of stuff. Somebody in the past looked like he took a bunch of copper. Anyhow, it's been a good trip and a good event. We appreciate y'all joining us here on the channel and I ask you to check back next time and reach down there and hit that subscribe and like button.